Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject operating system is inter-process communication. So actually I already explained about this inter-process communication when I am dealing with the computer organization and architecture. So let me give uh, an overview of this inter-process communication and operating system. So actually the concept is the same, the process, whatever the process you are taking, a process, it's a, nothing but it is a program that has to be executed. So that will be uh, taken if it is the process that are present in a system. So how those process will be communicated to each other, that you call it as inter-process communication, so within the system. So simply you call it as it is an exchange of, exchange of data between two or more you can take two or more separate and independent process separate and independent process so that exchange of information between two or more separate independent process you call it as inter-process communication suppose if you are taken to a process a process p1 and the process p2 so a communication between these two process so suppose within a program or within a system you are having you are dealing with two process one is with the web server and next is the suppose the database so these are the two process web server is one processor and the database is another processor so some common terms that are uh, that are used to share so that is the exchange of data between these two uh, process, the web server and the database. With the help of these, the data can be exchanged from web processor to database and database to web processor with the help of this inter-process communication. So here we are exchanging of data between uh, these two process which are separate and these are independent. So the web web server is having their own id and it is having their own ip and the same uh, own address and whereas for the database is also having their own uh, identification so these two are the independent process these are the two independent process and these two independent process wants to exchange of data so that technique you call it as a inter-process communication so this one process and another process a communication between the uh, within the system you call it as inter-process communication okay so this operating system provides the main this operating system whatever the operating system you are taking that operating system provides facility for inter-process communication so main this operating systems that provides the facilities for this inter-process communication this inter-process communication is divided into Inter-process communication may be a unicast, it may be a unicast or it may be a multicast, multicast inter-process communication, okay. The inter-process communication may act as a unicast or it may act as a multicast. So what is this unicast inter-process and what is a multicast inter-process? Actually, uh, unicast means a communication is from one process to single other process. That you call it as a unicast. What it mean? A communication is from one process. Means from one process to single other process that you call it as uniprocess so here this case is a uniprocess so here one process is to single other process this type of communication you call it as a unicast interprocess communication so the example for this unicast uh, interprocess communication is let us take the socket communication if you connect a socket between two process uh, then there is a communication exists between those two process though that you call it as a unicast now coming to the multicast what do you call this multicast interprocess communication so communication is from one process to group of process to group of process so here i'm talking about uh, one process is going to be communicated with a group of process 
this you call it as a multicasting multicasting interprocess communication so the example for the multicast uh, multicast uh, interprocess communication is uh, publish or subscribe publish or subscribe message models so that uh, you call it as a multicast publish or subscribe means suppose uh, what what can i take uh, suppose you are broadcast if you are taking that so they uh, they are publishing uh, suppose one uh, channel is publishing the uh, their channel to subscribe so the different people are going to subscribe this channel so this is one channel suppose uh, whatever the hathway whatever you are taking so that channel is going to be subscribed by different people one two three different processor so this you call it as a multicasting so a communication is from one process to a group of process one process to a group of process you call it as a multicast interprocess communication so this just i am talking about this uh, a communication suppose this is a process p2 and the p1 if the communication is established between these two process then you call it as unicast okay suppose if you are taking one process p1 and this process is going to be communicate with two or more process okay so then these uh, type of uh, interprocess communication you call it as a multicast i hope you understand what exactly the uh, uh, unicast and multicast interprocess interprocess communication it's just a communication between uh, two or more process okay thank you